is up guys I'm slim and welcome back to clash royale today you can see my clan is working hard on that clash chest we're already on to level 7 out of 10 and the rewards are just getting bigger and bigger at the top of the list man we got like boom shakalaka he's already got 138 crowns that's ridiculous it just started last night he's going ham I'm like 12th on the list I'm doing my thing but nothing too crazy dude 138 crowns that's insane but today we're gonna do something a little different usually it's about the live ladder you know just live matches in general but today it's about a couple of replays a couple of matches that I recently had we, we played some uh, some notable people and some big people and we had a couple good matches that I want to share with you guys I'm not gonna show you guys the outcome I'm actually gonna skip the front screen and we're gonna go right into it so I'm gonna show you the beginning so here we go here's the first match look who we got here we got surgical goblin from hammer esports hammer esports is on a high right now because of backstabs recent win at the huge tournament the, what is it like the king's cup or something like the north american trials it's insane he won 15 grand at that tournament but i'm trying not to lose man i didn't even realize it was surgical goblin at first but trust me he hit me at the time i ended up realizing it soon enough and i was like oh shit, i gotta come to play He's got the expo down, so I gotta drop the giant on it right away, or I'm in big trouble. Archers are doing some support right there. Maybe we can do something to this tower. I jumped the gun here with this graveyard. I should have held on to it, because now not only does he know I have it, but there's nothing to tank for it. Does a little puny damage here and there. Oh man, a little bit ahead of myself on that play. But still, not, not bad damage overall. We got the furnace cooking up them fire spirits on the left. He, they're doing a little chip damage, splitting up my damage a little bit too much. But hey, it's, this is Surgical Goblin. You got to take him real seriously. Every move counts. We're getting the furnace back down right away. This time we're going to test out the right side. And I really messed up again. Here's another one of my big mistakes. I put the archers down next to the, next to the ice spirits and the skeletons. Like he wasn't going to log it. Silly mistake. Now, now we get the Infernal Tower, so you know what's coming out. If you know Surgical Goblin, he's going to put that Expo right there. He's just waiting for the right time. So I have to get the Giant down. I put the Giant down not fearing the Infernal because I do have a Zap spell. By the time I Zap it and the Giant gets back up, not going to face too much damage. Maybe a couple hits on some Fire Spirits in the Furnace, but that's a lot better than not dropping anything and having that Expo rip apart my tower. So here I'm kind of letting my elixir build up. I'm letting that Inferno Tower die down. I decide to ignore these Fire Spirits right here because that's the first time he really touched my tower significantly on that side. So I let that go. I didn't waste any elixir on that left side because I need to have enough to get my Giant ready here. Now he put the, uh, the Inferno in the perfect spot because my Giant actually goes after it. So I have to drop Skeletons. I zap it and the Inferno starts targeting the actual Skeletons. So I thought that was a pretty good play. Keep the Inferno Tower distracted long enough to kill the Expo and the Inferno Tower. Here, I'm taking a little too long to put down my troops. I don't have the Giant in cycle. He already got back to his Expo, so I gotta defend with Archers. I have to defend with Archers and a Mega Minion, but I do it pretty well. The only problem is the Ice Golem destroys everything. He, I barely get a couple hits off. Oh, I do get a couple hits off with the Mega Minion, so that did some work right there. That was actually a pretty good push. Problem is, Expo's down on the left side. I got a giant down on the right side. He logs everything except for those. I, oh, the fire spirits do work. The archers and the mega minion push again on the left side. Now, do I put the skeletons down? No, I don't. So I just handled it with those troops right there. Did a pretty good job at it. And now we're on the tower on the left side. We got two archers on the left side. He puts the expo down on them. <laughs> we, we got them on the ropes. We've got surgical goblet on the ropes. Zap that all. I shouldn't. I should have realized that was coming because he really did me dirty with those with those uh, the log, log the crap out of my skeletons. I was like, oh shit, might have put down a little too much at once. But still, Expo has no hits on my tower. We're putting in work. Look at his two towers. There's 20 seconds left in overtime. I got the furnace down again. Should I have put the furnace on the left side? I'll, I'm still thinking about that. It's the same thing, but now it's time to move. We got 10 seconds left. I'm zapping that so my giant stays alive. Got nothing to do. I try and put the poison down. 
time runs out and we tie Surgical Goblin, but look at his two towers. What a crazy game. That was a freaking crazy back and forth game. Trying to defend that expo is no freaking joke. So now guys, we're gonna jump into the next match. So don't peek, but I'm gonna show you guys what happened earlier before this match actually took place. Check this out. I'm a level 11. I got some decently level troops, but we're facing off with a level 13. Dude, 12s are hard enough. Look at that, that's my, <laughs> my background lights up. 12s are hard enough, I'm facing a level 13. This might actually be harder than the Surgical Goblin match, because at least, you know, Surgical Goblins and I's troops were the same level. This guy's, this guy's got some serious freaking troops. Everything on his, everything on his set is maxed. His entire deck is maxed troops. But right away, I can't let him build that elixir. I've got to poison it. And just as I poison it, he drops down a freaking barbo. That's not what you want to see. You don't want a level 13 stacking up troops on you. Level 13 barbs, level 13 goblins. I don't know what the hell to do. Look at this, level 11 musketeer. I'm, I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I'm looking at my goal, I'm like, I guess I'll drop him in the back, but the skeleton arm is going to take all this out, is it? Does he have a zap on him? He zaps it, but that's way too late. That is way too late. This guy might be an amateur. Damn, he might have he might have paid his way up to this level. But on the left, look at this. I got two big-ass barbarians screaming up my tower. I got to let them go because we need this tower right here. He fireballs it, and I'm like, dude, this is my tower now. <laughs> you can't be serious. I, tr I'll tr I trade towers with him. I figured, like, what the hell? I'll get a I'll get at least a tower on this guy. Why not? My mega minion on the left is taking care of these barbs, making light work of them. He he doesn't have a single building there on the left side, so I'm like, shit. I might as well drop my goal. I might as well drop my giant down here. Mega minion will eventually finish hitting this freaking barbarian. It's taking an hour. You surround the musketeer on the right. Mega minion's working on the on the mini P.E.K.K.A. on the left. I'm figuring these archers right here will take out the mini P.E.K.K.A. Do I need him? I let him do work to my tower. I give him a hit on my tower. I'm figuring, can I take that damage? I really don't have a choice. I can't start dropping dropping these cards when I don't want to. But this time, I'm going to poison the seven elixir bar butt in hopes that when the uh, goblins go through it, I'll be able to kill them too. Now I got an issue. Can a Mega Minion take out a level 11 Musketeer? And the answer is no. This the, me, the freaking Mini Pack is getting hits on my, on my... Oh my god, dude. This is a mess. My Furnace is down. Nice screaming at the tower. Got barbs. We got... I got, got freaking Spear Goblins. We got everything. I can't even process it now. It's already over. But look at that value poison. We take out the rest of the Barb Hut. We're catching the Goblins from the back. We're catching the whole entire hut in the right. We drop down the, the Skeleton Army here. He's just mash dropping cards. I'm zapping everything. The archers are putting in work. Oh my god, it's a crazy match. He's on my tower. The mini picker gets a hit. I don't know what to do. Let's not put the graveyard down. Because this knight needs to get distracted. It's like a double skeleton party. It is a freaking skeleton party. Skeleton army and the graveyard. Now I'm just like, screw it. I'm zapping these guys down below. Got the musketeer on my tower. And the mega minion takes it out. I don't know what to do. I'm in huge trouble. He fireballs, and I'm thinking, and he's out. He's got 65 health in the tower, but I'm like, dude, you can't do that. I'm like, this guy's in trouble. I said, he's he's got to go all the way back around. I said, he's got no elixir. I've got graveyard coming through right now. I said, I could possibly win this. What's he going to do? Look at the musketeer. Oh, the musketeer takes the side tower. He tries to zap at the last second, and we win. We beat a level 13. I swear, my heart was pounding during this match. I was so nervous. With 16 seconds left, we take it. Did you see how close that zap was to taking out my tower? Actually, come to think of it, that was my zap that I was trying to zap the musketeer with. I'm thinking like, wait a minute, he didn't even come around to the zap yet. We just got lucky that the musketeer didn't target our king tower. Oh man, just watching that match. It just, oh my god, my heart's pounding when I watch that match. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Those were two of the craziest matches I've been in in a long time. They were freaking wild. And I hope you enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed being a part of them. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.